Okay, I'm going to get th some things started up here. Gonna make sure everything's set up right. Gonna turn the music down a little bit. That should be good. Flight changes. Howdy guys, how are you doing? Let me just do a little bit of maintenance. Post this everywhere. Spam. Spam. Go, go, go. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so we're going to create a new household for this. <laughs> and we're going to do randomization, I believe. I think randomization will, might be a little more fun, too. I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for, but I'm looking for something goony. And that guy's good. Let's go with him. Now for aspirations, let's go with hmm, deviance, mass chief of mischief, and traits. Ah, uh, people. Ah, uh, let's go with. Um, hmm. He's a geek. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> it's and he's childish. <laughs> and he is a slob. I need to mute to Steam because people are deciding they want to message me right at this moment. So, yeah. Okay. So here's Goon 1. Let's give him a name. Goonie Hipster. Well, let's add another one. Let's go with another guy. And not Goonie enough. Come on, give me something weird. Oh, a Oh, that one was good. Yeah, let's go with him. Let's choose a different walking style for him, though. Let's go with... Perky... Feminine. Let's give him a feminine walk. That seems like a good idea for him. And his aspiration will be fortune and fabulously wealthy. However, his issues are he's going to be insane, he's going to be a slob, and he's going to be lazy. Well, let's go with glutton and lazy. Our third one... Once again, randomize. Hey, Reginu Nubsa. What should we name this one? I forgot to name this one. I used to name him Gerald McBoing Boing. Okay. Next up for this guy right here. We'll do a little bit of editing of the character just to show off how it works. So we can zoom in on them as far as we want. And we can edit the mouth features. 
the chin, the lips. You can basically make them however you want, which I think is a really good thing. But if I want to make him super ugly, I can totally do that. This game will allow it. It doesn't fight me too much. I think I'm making the uh, medic. I really do think I'm making the medic. Let's see. Now there was a. Uh, here we go. That's good. And his glasses don't sit on his face. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nothing could go wrong with that. Nothing looks wrong at all. And let's give him some makeup as well. You know, just some face paint. Oh, there's no face paint. Let's give him some red eyes. Magical floating glasses indeed. Hello, K-Gummy and Master Azra. And he has uh, plugs in, I believe that's what they're called. I'm a nerd, so I don't know. Now, let's not have him have any muscles. We don't really want him to have muscle. However, he's going to have a, a badonka donk ass, so let's give him that. And yeah, instead of using sliders or anything, you just go through and you select what you want to change. And you can change it. Which I think is kind of fun in a way, but it's also a little bit annoying to get everything exactly how you want it. But you know, making characters is still fun, so... I think this is going to be the best scene of our best style of all time. So, we have this guy. What should his name be? Hmm. Egon Medic. He kind of looks like a combination between Egon and Medic. So, Egon Medic. Now, let's randomize. Yeah. Let's give... Let's go with the girl. Did I give this guy any... Asp no, I didn't. Okay. He is going to be a athletic bodybuilder, but he's going to be gluttonous, clumsy, and, let's see, a bookworm. Actually, can I give him the medical prof a medical profession? Let's see. Nope, okay. Let's randomize her a few more times. More? <laughs> more See if we can get someone. Zarkini and a foot. Yes, it was Egon that has the massive ass. Pomeray Quas. Ooh, like Barba Boy. Pretty good Barba. Eh. Barisma. Me Boon. Oh wait, let's go. <laughs> Mitzel the Narla. <laughs> Subi Web. Okay, let's go with her. Let's give her a different hair color, though. Let's give her red. Okay, let's call her... Hmm, what to call her? Any ideas, guys, what to call her? This is, uh, this is audience participation. Tell me what you want to call this lady. Let's give her an afro, too. So, any names? Okay, let's just randomize it. Arlene. Okay, scary bagels it is. And her aspirations are going to be nature, botanist, 
Let's see. She's a perfectionist. She's a loner. And she hates children. Next up, let's do another female. Let's go with her and let's choose... Popularity. Let's go joke star for this. And let's say she's a bro. She's non-committal. And she is materialistic. We will go with Amanda Brines. Okay. And let's see. That should be good unless you guys want me to fill out the entire um, system here with all the other characters. Like, you can have a max of eight characters. So it's really up to you if we do all eight or if we do just these. So do we want eight or do we want um, five? I'll just add one more. Just to make it an even three. Okay. I know what to name this one. Let's name her... Uh, what was the name I was thinking of? Okay, th five then. Okay. So we are going to select confirm. We're going to name this the stream. And they're calibrating the mood swings. And now we can choose anywhere to put them. Anywhere that's available, that is. Like, there's my... Some houses I'm playing on. Let's see. Somewhere open. We'll throw them there. I'm not going to give them a pre-built house. We're going to do everything ourselves. So We have five members to live out their lives. So this will be interesting. They don't know each other. And they are fairly lazy. And we have $22,000 to make with what we will. So first off, I'm going to do a few rooms. Uh, yeah, I'll just make the rooms by hand. We will start with... Um, room tool. Okay, so we are going to go with... Over here. We're just going to build a small little room. And then we're going to do that the same way for each house room. Just doing a little bit of customization. Kind of making the house look a little bit nicer. Not nicer, but a little bit even, even space and everything. And whoever gets a small room, well, they suck, so. And let's see. And the one good thing about this um, version of The Sims, you can easily modify the rooms to make them a little bit bigger, a little better size than what they were. So like this, I modified it a little bit. Just to make it a little bit easier for me to build in. And we're going to put a wall here. We're going to undo that. Put it here. And there we go. Let's make another wall down this way. So that we know where the rooms are. Or our space. And there's our house. Now, besides the um, bedrooms and the one bathroom I'm going to put in here, 
I'm going to leave everything else open-ended. Like the... Yeah, we're starting this entire game from scratch. I think it would be more interesting to just make the game totally new and everything and go through it. Okay. Bathroom door right there. Bathroom door. Come on. There we go. I kind of like it. Actually, I really like it. I do think it is kind of worth the price. It's certainly not a bad game. It's just not a great game. I don't regret purchasing it, so... Now, let's see. What should we go with? Let's go with this for the kitchen. Okay, let's put that right here. Oh, I've never lived in a dorm, so I don't know much about it. And let's go with cabinets now. Yeah, I do think the shop layout is a little bit better than the old style. But then again, I do think there's some stuff missing. Like what a lot of comments say, there are stuff that I kind of wish was around more. But, you know, there's not much we can really do. They'll probably bring them all back in future updates or expansion packs, but... Yeah... Um, one good thing is, though, they're bringing back pools. They did announce in a post that they are bringing back the pool, so that's always good to hear. So now we can kill the Sims by drowning them again. Hurrah! Okay, let's sell that and let's get a fridge. Yeah, that's a really good thing. And if you have The Sims 3 on Origin, you do also get extra bonuses. Let's go with that. So I do think it's kind of nice that they're doing other things um, with it. Let's see, this has no windows. No doors besides bathroom doors. And let's give them a few beds. Let's see. Let's go with the cheaper beds. They can sleep on kids' beds. I think the um, DLC is probably going to be like a lot of new extra features. And then they're going to have massive, um, or not massive, but more stuff packs that you can buy. But as for what it's going to contain, I'm not sure what it's going to have in there. Oh, that's a bathroom. Why did I put that in there? Well, someone's going to have to sleep in the bathroom. Let's go with orange. <laughs> and let's see. So we have all the beds and everything. Now it's time for windows. We can worry about actually decorating it later. I really don't want to go through and cheat everything in. So we're going to spend a lot more time building. And so one of the things is because we're not going to cheat anything in. Sims are going to have to get a job. Yeah, th I do think they um, will do a lot more with the Sims in this version. I'm not sure what they will do, but I know that they're probably going to do a lot more like 
stuff packs that add a lot more stuff. Hence the name, but... That's pretty much what I'm going for. I'm going to kind of do a mix of... Um, I'm going to try to do a mix of everyone working or everyone having autonomous control and then doing making them do a few things. Because they're going to need to be have me give them a few things because they're not going to get like a job on their own. They're not going to do a few things on their own, so... You gotta kind of edge them at times into a direction you want them to go. Let's put this here. And right by the bathroom, we are putting in the living room. Let's give them a penguin TV. Oh, wait, I need a table. Surface. Let's see. No. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I think it's partially both. Um, I think one of the issues is that they don't look for jobs on their own. So it makes it kind of harder to actually get them to do any sort of job work without forcing them to. Okay, let's put this here then. And let's put a kid's TV on here. There. Now they have TV. They have entertainment. All I need to do is put it in the bathroom. Which is going to have a sink. A toilet. Toy. Toilet. Or however they... I don't know how people expect me to say toilet, but I say toilet like toilet. I think some people expect me to say it with an R because I'm from Kansas or something, but I'm not sure. Okay, looks like everything is in order. Let's give them one more thing, and then we will actually let them start living their lives. While I'm getting this set up, tell me what sort of jobs you want each one to do. Um, we have a hipster, we have a goon, we have um, Gerald McBoing Boing, and a few other characters. So, when you have a job that you want me to give them, we can give them that job. And let's see, what is he doing already? He's browsing the web. This one is reading a book. <laughs> Actually, not really. Let's, but they do make getting a jo or choosing a specific job easier. Um, you can click join a career, and then it lists all the possible jobs I believe that you can choose from, and then you can choose any of the jobs that um, you can grab. So I'm gonna hold this up for you guys, but you can choose anything in here culinary, a writer, a tech guru, a criminal, a painter, an entertainer, an astronaut, or a secret agent. Astronauts, you can a, all, a lot of these you can actually do stuff in outside of the job as well. Like you can install, yeah, there's no more newspaper. Everything's done on your cell phone now. So that's kind of good, but... So you want them to be a maid, but there's no maid service. Like, you can't choose a maid. We could be, make them become an astronaut, or a secret agent, or an entertainer, painter, a criminal, a tech guru, a writer, or a culinary person. Of course, I could always install more mods to add in other jobs, but... Right now, those are the other the jobs that are available. So I'll make, well, for a house of barely making it, I would still have to have at least one with a job, so that's going to be something I have to do. So I'll make all of them, like, useless careers that 
really don't make them go anywhere. Um, no, okay. Goonie Hipster is going to become a writer. Gerald McBoing Boing, I'm not sure what he'll be yet. Egon is definitely going to be a tech guru. Let's have Gerald McBoing Boing be an astronaut. Okay, let's have Gerald McBoing Boing be a criminal. Let's have Egon. Well, you kind of late. You have to remember there's a um, lag. Egon, there's no questions asked. He's going to become the tech guru. I think I can actually change his job as well. Let's see, can I? No, I can't. Okay. For um, Scary Bagel, apparently I'm a girl with an afro. What should she be? I am open to suggestions. I can choose something, but it might not be as funny. A cook? Okay. Well, let's make her a painter so that she can be useless. We'll make the last one a cook. And let's go with cook for her. And so you know, this house has no roof. Absolutely no roof. I can add a roof right quick, but yeah. Let's go with adding a roof right, right quick. Okay, so... We will make a huge roof. And the one good thing about the new version of this is that you can actually shrink the roof down in size so that it's not too stupidly tall. Let's see, how am I, how do I zoom out? I'll rearrange. Okay, so now let's get back to the family. And let's go down. And we are now just going to watch some of their lives. <sighs> I'm not going to really try to make them live their lives because the good thing, or not the good thing, kind of, but the interesting thing is that the emotive engine that they really um, uh, pushed actually does a lot of interesting things. They do act more autonomous now. And really it is. Sims 4 makes this a lot easier than Sims 3. You don't have to babysit them. And with the fact that they can now multitask, you'll see a lot more Sims reading the web while they're on the toilet. Or talking while they're watching TV. And generally doing other stuff. I do think I occasionally hear new or English words. Yes, they have a stove right here to burn the place down if they ever decide to cook. And trust me, they will probably um, burn it down. Actually, let me do one more thing. I'm going to edit the house a little bit. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Okay. That's a good thing about the new Sims as well, is that you can modify the house really easily. 
<laughs> yeah, they can actually do that. They can also, um... Let's see, what else did they do? Um, they talk while they cook. So really, you don't have to worry about their social needs anymore, especially with a house like this. Now, when I get to... Now, what I might do is I actually made a copy of the Full House family, and I might play them at some point, switch over to them. But yeah, I have Danny Tanner, um, all the original cast in here. Well, the tech guy can build a computer, but we are kind of kind of running a little low on supply, our money, so we'll get them a cheap computer. <laughs> Give me one second here. Okay, sorry, I had to blow my nose. I think I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold. Or Ebola. No. Okay, let's get him a desk and a... Well, the creative sim, I, I really kind of miss it, but I never really used it that much, as mu or as much as everyone else. I really just wanted to play The Sims more than anything, so... I wasn't that hard off when they decided to take that out of the system. But I do understand why it was a um, thing everyone was sad to see go. It just wasn't my thing, however. We'll give him an iMac. Actually, we'll sell that one and get him a real iMac. We'll get him that one. Yep, I have bacteria eating me on the inside out. That sure is what I have. And we'll give him a chair to sit on desk chairs. We'll give him this and we'll give him a pink one because he's going to need the pink. Okay, now everything's done. We have a computer in the house as well. Now we just get to sit and watch them. And they, they also have um options of going to do stuff on the phone. And they are all watching sports, even the nerd. She is going to play on the computer. And it looks like she's actually going to play fake Tetris. And this guy's all just by himself. No one wants to talk to him. So he's just sand sitting there all lonely. The, the tech guy, he's making talking. This guy's watching TV. Okay, let me move the camera. The camera's a little bit janky, but it's not bad. That's what's on the TV right here. They can always change this channel, but I find that they love the sports channel for whatever reason. He acquired the video game skill. And yes, there is now a video game skill. No, the tech guru guy is actually um, right there. And he's talking to this girl right here. So she's pretty, he's pretty much uh, more charismatic than this asshole over here. And this guy who's just really into his sports. And then Scary Bagel's all the way over here playing our streaming brick blocks for... Yeah, she isn't really um, a fan of groups, so she's going to be happier all the way over there, being a loner. It's the same type of gif over and over again.
But let's see what the other ones are doing. She's watching TV and talking. Chatting with Egon and watching sports. And he's just watching sports. No one wants to talk to him. Ah, poor Goonie hipster. So who wants to bet which one will die first? Let's check their needs. Ah, oh, their all needs are all good. Well, the interesting thing about Sim, you say the Sims, this is Machinima of Sims Three. They actually do. You can actually play the Sims within Sims uh, Four on the computer over here. I'll move this over to show you, but. On this one, you can actually play Sims 4, or Sims Forever. Uh, let's see, play game. Let's play Sims Forever. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't want him to do that. I wanted her. Play games, play Sims Forever. So yeah, if you look at this, it's actually the original Sims. Same controls and everything. Same look. Same style. It's actually The Sims 1. Gifts of The Sim 1 put into the game. Which is, I, I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of a neat little addition. So that's cool. And she's looking at everything they took out of The Sims 4. But you know, everyone's complaining about The Sims three or four taking out so much stuff but then you look at the sims four or sims one and then you see how much i actually added in so it's kind of a nice little addition and scary bagels has um leveled up in video games he's back watching sports And yeah, we don't have any sort of out exterior. We don't have any sort of flooring. We have nothing except. <laughs> and she took her seat. What an asshole. <laughs> Gerald McBoing Boing stole that chick's seat. And she's cooking. So let's see if she burns anything. Let's see if she burns. Let's see. Oh, come on, burn! Burn! I want a fire! Aww. What did she make? Mac and cheese. She's eating, watching sports, and playing, talking. What's the quality? Huh. Not bad quality, I guess. She's still playing Sims for forever, so we'll just leave her alone. She's going to be a solo person anyways. <laughs> They're slobs anyways, eyes and braids. They don't... I made sure that none of them are clean. They aren't going to pick up. But I want to see if, like in The Sims 3, if you leave stuff for long enough, if flies will kill you. I think that would be funny. And Amanda Brines is playing video games. I know, typing is hard. That's why I'm here talking instead of typing. But I find talking just as hard, so... You know, fuck me. Oh, wait. I don't know if I'm supposed to actually cuss in, in Twitch. Meh. No one cares here, I guess. If someone cares that I'm cussing, I'll stop. And he's clean enough for some reason. 
You didn't miss anything, Master Azra. Lady made uh, macaroni and cheese. We don't have any sort of way to clean the dishes. So, everything's just kind of happening. Let's see what her aspirations are right now. Let's see what her crazy scream scheme is. A ray gun, apparently. Because that is crazy. Let's see. Finish reading a book, plant something, and be mean to a child. Oh man, if only I made a child sim. She's a jerk. She actually has be mean to a child. But yeah, I'm not going to really control them. I'm going to let them move around and I'm just going to see what they do. You know, consider this an experiment in watching things that try to be human not really be human. Let's see. He's adding pepper to the top of a grilled cheese. Not sure why, but yeah. Get out of the way, Goonie. Come on, burn this up. Oh, that would have been hilarious if there was. Wait, wait, wait. He makes excellent grilled cheese. Like, that is actually excellent. And he doesn't take it? Ah, there he goes. He just decided he didn't want to take it right then and there. What is he making? Scrambled eggs. I do kind of like it, but it's eventually going to change. I'm going to try not to spend any money until they actually have decent careers or and everything. Is he going to burn this? One of them have got to burn the house down. But I'm not going to teach them anything. or ev So everything they learn is going to be done on the stove. Good quality scrambled eggs. He's eating a bowl of chips that he got from the fridge. Another thing I found that the Sims do is that they actually... And she just puts that right on top of the stove. Like, she doesn't even care. She doesn't go through any of the process. It That part's still um, user-controlled, but... It still um, is a thing that you can do, but... And right now, they're good enough. They're good with what they have. I'm not going to worry too much. And they're all washing the sink and the, are the dishes in the bathroom. Because that's hygienic. I didn't think I gave any of them a neat thing. Skills. Oh, I see. Because I didn't give any of them... I didn't give all of them slobs. What Some of them do clean, so... Oh, I know you're just asking questions. It's just I'm trying to answer it. I'm not a very good talker, so... They actually do need a cell phones. They don't need regular phones anymore, but yeah, they do need cell phones. <laughs> and she puts the plate on the bookshelf. I know there's go probably going to be a story progression, like in Sims 3. And when you see that, you'll see a lot more Sim um, LPs happening. But I'm happy with um, doing this online, 
are reading stuff and playing it on a stream. And she's using Google. And I know one of the, um, if you choose troll the forums, you can uh, make them, the forums look like something awful. And I swear that's true. Let me see if I can get her to do that. Let's see. Actions. Let's see. Socialize. Nope. She doesn't have that option. Let's see if she does. Nope. Let's see. Socialize. Troll to forums. Yeah, she can. Or Gerald McBoing Boing can. Wait, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Well, no, there's a specific um, thing you can do. Um, like, Gerald McBoing Boing, if I get her off of this. And I get him on here and socialize on troll to forums. And let me get her to move. Okay, there she goes. And then when he gets on this computer, you'll see the um, something awful similar forums. Yeah, see? This looks like the something awful forums. Right down to the design and everything. That's totally something awful. That's not, but... <laughs> Yeah, I know, but it still looks similar enough. Yeah, but... You know, I want to pretend, you know, cheese whiz. I... I want to pretend. This is my fantasy world of... Things trying to be humans. She's asleep, she's asleep. He's watching TV and very happy about it. Well, yes, it is a bias. Let's see, he's going to sleep. He's playing, trolling the forums. <laughs> and she's sleeping right be near him. And yeah, let's see, he's going to bed. Or no, he's just going to nap on the couch, you know. Fuck the bed, I'm just going to sleep on the couch. And Gerald McBoing Boing, what is he going to do? Or... Egon, Medic. He's just going to stand there for a bit. And... He's going to bed. Yes, how did you know that was my complete and utter fantasy that only this game <laughs> fulfills? So now that everyone is asleep... Time's automatically going to speed up. It's like Friends, except everyone else sucks. Everyone in the game sucks. And no one wants to be any of these characters. So we're going to watch Egon sleep creepily. Who's got up? Ah, her. Where she's going? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, Egon. I didn't mean to do that. The gluttonous spiel. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you can get um, status effects from cheaper stuff. Like, say I chose the cheapest um, two of these. You could actually get bad food taste and everything. I don't know anyone from Friends, so that reference is lost on me. Let's see, who's going to work today? Let's see, Egon is. Um, Gerald McBoing Boing is. Goonie is. 
she is. Amanda Brines and Scary Bagels is. Uh, they start at work. She works in nine hours. She works in 15, 9, 16, oops, and 10. Yep. Each one has a different set schedule. Let's see if there's any days that they're all off. Wow, it looks like Gerald McBoing Boing works every single day of the week. Like, he really works every single day. Well, it looks like for most of them, they have Sunday off. But everyone else works. Hey man, look at our cold, lonely house. And this guy, if I remember right, has a glutton um, attributes. Let's see. Let's see. Where is it? Symology? Ah, uh, yes, he is a glutton. So that means he can eat pretty much anything. Like, I could do this right now if I wanted to. He can go over here to this garbage can and look for food. And he will, too. He will come over here to look for food to eat. And only gluttons can actually do this, so. I do like how in the background things tend to um, become hazier. To make the foreground pop out more. That's a nice touch. And he found food. Let's see if we can have him actually eat it. Let's see. Inventory. Rummage salad. Eat. You will eat this food you found in the garbage. And he loves it. Oh, Gerald McBoing Boing, you eat anything. <laughs> and he just puts it on the ground. You're right beside a trash can, Gerald McBoing Boing. Just put it in the trash. Come on. You could have just reached over and put it in there. You didn't need to leave it in the garbage or in the trash. There you go, okay. I guess my scolding worked. Let's see what's his name. He's low energy, so he's probably going to need to go to sleep here. I've never seen dorm life either. Let's see what she's doing. Let's see. She is just playing Sims Forever, okay. Seems like everyone else but Gerald McBoing Boing and Amanda Brines is awake. She's going to sleep though. What's he doing? He's just playing a game. So we're sending him back home. You don't really have to fuck much with Origin. You still need Origin to play the game, but it's not too terribly bad, honestly. It's definitely a lot better than what SimCity was. It's not always online, so you don't have to worry about DRM or everything. And you get you do get bonuses for playing on Origin. That's pretty much where I'm putting all my Sims 3 stuff. Yeah, I know. E EA is terrible. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying that 
you know, considering how you play is and everything, that origin isn't the worst possible thing. So they're now all sleeping again. And she's the first to wake up. Let's see what she's doing. She's playing a game, and when does she work? Three hours, okay. She can live. Yes, she can live. I'm glad you found that funny. It's a bathroom, man. You don't have to do the pee pee dance. And then he's going to find her standing there. Get out of here. I need to take it in. And they all uh, sit down. <laughs> and this. Damn it, Goonie. That was terrible. That was terrible, Goonie. What the hell? And he's playing blocks, okay. Everyone's acquiring the video game skill. Because that's the most important skill. Let's see. Ooh, let's have her... Let's pause this for a second because we can do that. Huh. And let's... Root introduction. That way when she gets back... Yeah, he's a slob. Slobs don't wash their hands. I'm gonna have her mess with the kid. Hey, 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 don't go anywhere, kid. She's trying to... Hey, hey. Dang it, that kid left. Dang it, you... Goonie, I was trying to get her to annoy kids. Of course, one of them has to flush the toilet. Like the to no one else flushes the toilet except her. Let's see. Is this spoiled? Oh, it still has three hours until it's spoiled. And he's going again. Let's see, where's she off to? Let's see. Ah, she's making something to eat. Yeah, that makes me sad. She needs to be mean to children. And Mr. Egon Badonkadonk is walking around doing something. What is he doing? He's eating yogurt. Of course he is. Eat cereal. I probably need to get a table sometime or at least put chairs down at the um whatever this thing called, the island. Okay, let's just put some cheap chairs down. Let's go with black. Black like my soul. But I don't think they need more than four at a time. There we go. Now they have a place to eat. They don't have a sink though. Crap. Now I need to add another item. This is never going to end. I'm going to use up all of my money. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's give him... Um, let's go buy room. 
it's easier to find what I'm looking for that way. Go with sink. Last resort. And yeah, some items are unlocked. You have to actually earn them. So let's go with this one right here. That fat fits the theme. Okay, so they have a fancy old school style stove, a fancy old school style refrigerator, a fancy old school style sink. They are go good to go. And they have drywall and concrete as their floors and walls. Because whoever made this house decided to not finish it. So we are going to go over here. What's he going to do? Chat. Joke about politicians. He's analyzing. What is he analyzing? Ah, he's analyzing a book. The first unicorn, probably the prequel to the last unicorn. Wait, hold on. He's going to work. Let's see. She's at work, he's at work. We can actually change how they're working, so let's change that. Work hard. And take it easy. These two aren't going to work yet, except he goes to work here in an hour, I think. Let's see, he doesn't work today, does he? He needs to go to the bathroom, so he's going to do the pee pee dance over there. And let's see. What time does he work? In seven hours? Okay. She works in. Six. He works in twenty minutes. I think this has been a pretty successful first day, first couple of days, honestly. What do you guys think? We have a house now that they can live in. We have, um, the bathroom, five bedrooms, a kitchen, a place for them to live in, and you know, to be nice, I'm going to give them one more thing. Let's see. Objects by type, electronics lighting, activities and skills. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to give them anything smart. Let's give them a easel so that one of them can do painting and let's give them a guitar so that they can play kumbaya and there we go that's Goonie Hipster's off to work and that list leaves Gerald McBoing Boing who is in the shower and Amanda who is playing art who's looking at art rather I think this has been a fairly good session today everyone has been are doing their work when these all come back from work Okay, Egon sees that the next customer in the chat queue is an old flame of his and things don't didn't exactly uh, pretty. Oh man, Egon was a player. Uh, should he begin the chat or should he ignore the customer? I'll leave the decision on what Egon does to you, the viewer. So if he you want him to ignore the customer we will. If you want us to chat with them, we can. 
This is totally your decision. So because this thing has a little bit of a time lapse, I will go with whoever says um, what option they want us to do first. Begin chat? Okay. Looking, lucky for Egon, the relation was as memorable as he thought, or at least the flame didn't acknowledge his name or chat picture. Egon meets the customer service needs and avoids an awkward confrontation. Okay, that's pretty good. And the penguin will never leave the um, place, by the way. They will always have a pe the penguin TV somewhere. Even if they get a real TV, they will want always have the penguin TV somewhere. Even if I have to put it in the bathroom. And let's see. Talking with friends. Surprised they're not sitting here to eat. Huh. I believe they can, but I've never, I haven't played it enough to really get them fired. And we have our first spoiled plate, people. Our first one. Will we get more? Probably, but unimpressive resume. His resume isn't as impressive yet, but gloomy ones a little faster. Should he? So what should we do? His resume isn't impressive yet. Should he just be honest about not having much experience or should he uh, fake his resume? Should he be honest or should he lie? Once again, the decision is in your hand. Whoever speaks up first. Lie, okay. Suddenly, Goonie seems so much more qualified on paper, anyway. Hope nobody checks those references. Eh, okay. <laughs> and we will be ending this game at, um... midnight on this on Friday so for today anyways this will be the end um, at midnight tonight she's showering so that will leave her alone we're not going to be a perverts we're going to watch him put away stuff even though I thought he had the no he didn't he's just lazy so I'm not sure why, what he's doing He's making mac and cheese. I hope he burned something. I really was hoping for to see something burn. I think we need a cheaper stove um, to see stuff burn. So what I'm going to do... Pause this. Sell this sell this and let's go to appliances let's go to stoves let's go for the cheapest one 
and let's go for the cheapest one. Okay, let's go with that. See if that helps. So this should help start the fires because if I remember right, um, the cheaper the equipment, the more likely bad things happen. So we're going to stay right now with just the cheapest equipment we can get. So let's go to plumbing. Let's get... Let's see. And I think that's the cheapest, but let's go by place. Yeah, that's the cheapest, okay. There we go. Now we're at the cheapest. Now they will have to eat in absolute squalor. I think next time, though, what I might end up doing is I might... Um, rebuild the house a bit once we get some more money and make it look more like um, an actual place of squalor. And he's going to stare at that plate. That plate means everything to him. Everything about the plate. He must contemplate it. Contemplate its meaning. And then he cleans it up. Let's see what she's doing. She's doing absolutely nothing. Oh, she's having a casual discussion with Goonie Hipster. And I think she's talking on the phone. Wait, how is she having a... Oh, yeah, she's talking on the phone with Goonie Hip Hipster. Oh, you cheese whiz. You rapscallion, you. Amanda starts work in an hour, and he starts work at... Five. Okay. So I'm really trying not to control them and let them do whatever they what they want to do. Sometimes it's a lot easier to just make them do what you want them to do. Oh, I guess it rained. There's some nice water effect. He's throwing the book away? I know he's talking to Alana Parker and Fernanda Carey. The only one not at work. She's heading to work, so. Oh. I guess she's skipping today. Let's wait, hold on. Let's see. She skip she really is skipping work today. Oh no. Okay, she's running to work now. So right now only he's here. And he leads the lady. He's thinking about money. What is he going to do? Play Sims Forever. Okay. Well, that's going to be boring to watch. Let's just skip a little bit. But since he's the only one here and everything... Ooh, he's going to cook. 
Who's back? Ah, Scary Bagels is back. He's going to work, so... First one back is Scary Bagels. And she stinks. Like, visibly. See what she's going to do. She's not even going to care. She's just going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Or, she's going to eat the grilled cheese sandwich. Not even giving a fuck. She doesn't need to give a fuck. And she's gonna take a shower. Egon is stinky as well. They are. Our my Sims are horrible people. That's okay. That's why I set. That's how I set them up. Goonie brought in two hundred dollars. She's brought the lowest amount. I think she only brought in a hundred and forty eight. He brought in the highest amount so far. And he's wanting to take a bath. But we don't have baths, so he's going to have to deal with that. Oh, well, he's taking a shower, so. Yeah, um, with the cheap items, you can actually get bad moodlets with. So, like this one, because he took a um, cheap shower, it gave him a horrible moodlet. And apparently this place is decorated. I don't know about you, but this doesn't look very decorated. And we're going to ignore her. And he's tense. My sims are absolutely terrible people. She's happy. He's gonna and gonna wash her hands and she's gonna chat. And he's just gonna blatantly ignore her. You know what? You don't need him. Make a classic painting, a large classic painting. And she saw him take a dump. That's cool. Oh, wait. Uh, the toilet has not been flushed or anything. And she is right now painting a painting. What will it be? Let's see what she does. I hope it looks terrible, honestly. Let's see what he did. Ah, uh, he's embarrassed as well, okay. Egon is gonna be the love of the house, honestly. Egon, don't ruin her painting. She's trying to paint. Uh, 
Egon, you're carrying food. Eat. She now needs to get doubly hard back to work. And down here on the progress bar, there's a little green bar that goes around in a circle. When it gets around the circle, that means the painting's done. So let's see what she actually paints. I think there's only a limited number of options. She has a lot of stuff she's worrying about. Now Egon is going to only know computers and computer accessories. And maybe ghosts. But yeah, as soon as this is done, what I'll do is I'll show the other Sim family I did. And then I've got to get going. i got to go to work, so... Maybe tomorrow when I get back from work, I'll turn this back on and do some more streaming. But for right now, tonight at least, we're going to end it on this. Aw, she didn't make an imp she made an imperfect work. And this is her painting. Let me move it to a good spot. It's not bad. I mean, yeah, the composition means needs work and everything, but certainly not a terrible painting. I've seen worse paintings. And with that, we are done with the family today. So let's exit. Save and manage worlds. And once this is done, I'm going to show you the full house family I made. I did put it over in window. Okay, let's see. Don't need to see that. Let's see. Household management stream. This is the Tanner family. Right here, I made... Um, what's his name? Danny Tanner... Je Jesse... Um, whatever the crazy guy is... Um, and all the girls that live in the house. The Full House family, the Tanner family. And I'm going to name this to the Full House. So that's kind of cool. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I hope to see you all again. Have a great night. And let's turn this off.